Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the Ragnar Blackmane paint along. Okay, so the areas we're going to focus on today are the, um, the holster, a little pouch there, this strap that runs along the front of his leg with all the trophies on, this little pouch, this one here, the little belt that sort of connects them all there. Also, I think we'll do his belt at the same time, the leather parts of it anyway, um, which will allow us to do the uh, metallics later on. Okay, so the paints you're going to need are Dryad Bark, Abaddon Black, Steel Legion Drab, Zandri Dust, Ushapti Bone, Dark Reaper, Fenrisian Grey, Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint, Contrast Medium, Mephiston Red, Rhinox Hide, Evil Sun Scarlet, Troll Slayer Orange, Tau Light Ochre, and Kislev Flesh. Okay, so to start with, what we need is some dryad bark. I'm gonna take a little dollop of that. Add some water to it, 50-50 mix. And then slowly build up a nice flat base coat of dryad bark. Same on this pouch. Okay. That's that, and then along the front of his leg, careful not to get any on the um, armour that we've already done.
brush is on the way out, I think. Or in need of a very good clean. One of the two is starting to annoy me. But there you go. Okay, so that's the um, that's the belt, and the pouches all done. Um, so we move on to uh, some shading now. Right, so next we need to take some abandoned black. And we're going to shade the brown down with this. So we need to water this down quite thin, nice thin wash consistency. And then just going to wash this all over the dryad bark base coat. Letting it form in the recesses. Strap at the top. Also with a strap on the front of his leg. Like that. Now the same thing for his holster. Letting the abandon black sit in the uh, pattern. Letting the wash do all the work for us. Now we let that dry and then we'll uh, come back and start highlighting then. Okay, so next we need to start highlighting the leather up. So uh, we need to take some dry yard bark and steel legion drab. And that's a 70-30 mix. Okay, so what we want to start doing now is highlighting up the, the leather. So leaving the uh, Chaos Black wash in the recesses, and just slowly building up the highlight. The parts of the leather that's going to catch the, uh, the sunlight. This isn't a huge amount of leather, so uh, it shouldn't take us long to get all this done.
light is going to catch the top of this canister or little pouch. We're moving the brush upwards in both directions. Same for the lid. We'll leave the bottom area with just the shading on. It's not looking that great at the minute because it's dark brown over with a black wash and then slightly lighter brown over the top. It's a bit boring at the minute, but it will look a lot brighter when we're finished. Same with the pouch, working upwards, leaving the black wash in the recesses. Okay, so that's that one. Now we must do the same for his holster. Again, leaving the wash in the recesses and then the, that pattern in the leather. Being careful not to push that, get that paint in that little recess. This is the first video I've done in the new setup, the new little studio I set up. So I'm still getting things right, so hopefully this video is going to come out okay. Moving the brush upwards. We're going to go for a, a nice slightly battered look for the, the leather. Okay, started to subtly build up the highlight now. And uh, so we'll move on to the next stage, which is another highlight. Okay, so for the next highlight then, we need to take some pure Steel Legion drab. Like that. Again, water it down, 50-50 mix. Like that. And again, what we do, we slowly build up the highlight.
And then finally just the uh, leather strap that's on his leg. Okay, so hopefully you can start seeing some uh, some changes in the uh, leather have finally happening. Now it's getting a little bit lighter, so we'll move on to the next highlight stage now. Okay, so for the next highlight we need to do is pure Zandri dust. Again, water this down. We need to water this down so it's a, so we can carry on glazing it. It's quite thin. And then exactly what we've been doing for the last two stages glazing up this highlight thinking about where the light is going to catch to glaze this highlight on really. Okay. Hopefully you can see that now. It's uh, getting a little bit brighter, so easier to see.
Okay, move on to the uh, straps at the top of the waist. Starting to get a really nice worn look to the leather. It's what we're after. Make it a little bit interesting, even though it's a small little detail. Nice to give it that little bit of extra attention. The same for the strap on his leg. These details are really small now, so you need to just take your time, build up that color. Okay. Now what we do next is we Add a bit more Zandri dust to the mix to make it a little bit thicker. And then what we, do, what we do is start to edge highlight a little bit more. So this is going to be a little bit stronger now. We can start to dab it into the raised areas where it's going to get caught. The light's going to catch. Okay, so that's that stage done. Now we'll need to move on to the last highlight stage. Okay, so for the final highlight, we're gonna take some Piru Shapti bone and water it down in 50-50 mix. So then what we'll do is use the Shapti bone sparingly now. We don't need to use too much. Just the top edge. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> and we're not going to draw 
paint a, a straight solid line because it's going to look weird. So we're just going to dab on that highlight, hopefully giving the impression that the leather's a little bit worn. And just concentrating on the tops of the straps and the corners. Maybe give it some little scratches like that. Paint in some little nicks and uh, scratches.
take better pictures once these are done because the uh, there's a shadow being cast on it from the arm above and it's making it look much darker than it really is um, hopefully you can still make out what I'm doing Okay, so hopefully you can see his nice little bit of texture going on on the uh, on the holster now. Same for the pouches and the straps. Now, what I want to do is one last thing is I want to take some snake bite leather contrast medium. I picked this tip up watching uh, one of Darren Latham's videos. take some contrast medium probably a two to one mix of contrast medium to snake bite leather and what I want to do is I want to brush that all over the pouches and the straps just to change the hue slightly make it a bit warmer And just brush it all over and what that does it subtly changes the hue and then you get the you get a difference between the leather pouches and the brown tail I was conscious that there's a lot of brown going on in the corner there so that's a nice quick way to add some uh, variation in Same thing with the uh, with the uh, holster. It's got a nice warm brown. Okay, so next we need to move on to the uh, belt. Okay, so next we want to paint the belt. And as we paint inside out, uh, we need to start with the, the black interior. And to do that, we need to start with a base coat of a bad and black and dark reaper. 70-30 mix. It's just changing the color of the black slightly like that so it's not pure black things are rarely pure black and what we'll do is just paint around the details with that color you, you might think that's going to look a bit weird but when you've got the red trim and the gold details with the gemstone all painted in, this will look this will look completely black anyway. It's just adding in that little bit more interest to the black area. Not forgetting the back part of the belt. Thank you. 
and leave that dry. And then we're going to give it a quick highlight along the top of the belt. And that should be it for the black, nice and simple. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take one brush full of the previous mix of the base color and I'll add the same amount of Fenrisian gray. Water that down a little bit. And very carefully, just going to paint in a little highlight. Hang on. Let me change my brush, do my head in. New brush time. New brush time. Hopefully this will hold the point a little bit better. And I won't throw Ragnar out the window in a minute. We're going to carefully paint a highlight in across the top like that. Don't want it too much, just very subtly. Might not even be able to see it on the camera, but it's there. Okay, so hopefully you can pick that out. Okay, that's that done. Now, I want the belt banding, the traditional red colour, uh, and quite bright. So, what we're going to take is some Mephiston red. This is a nice colour, nice red. I don't want it to be exactly the same colour as the, the inner pelt. So, this should uh, give us a nice bright red as well, but different. Water that down like that, and then we're going to carefully paint in this top band very carefully. Now, if, that, if you're worried that's looking a little bit too bright, then don't worry. It's, uh, we'll be shading this down in a minute. Just want to get a nice solid base coat. <laughs> now perhaps I should have painted in this uh, red band first. You can see it at the top of his thigh in there.
Mustn't forget the back. Okay, so that's the uh, red on the belt done. Let's go away and tidy that up a bit and then we can uh, shade that down a little, turn it down a little and then uh, highlight back up. Okay, so next then we need to shade down the red. So we'll take some Mephiston red again and we'll take some Rhinox Hide. 50-50 mix. Water that down. And what we'll do, we'll just wash that into the uh, the underside of the ribbing, beading, or whatever it is. And all we're doing is we're trying to just give a little bit of a shadow to the underside of the beading. Like that. Such a small area, it doesn't take very long this step. Okay, so we'll move on to some more highlighting now. Okay, so what we'll do next is we'll, we'll highlight that red band up now using uh, Evil Sun Scarlet. Water that down, 50-50 mix. And again, paying attention to where the light would actually naturally catch that red band. So, the tops, top like that. Just focusing on the top of that band there. You can use the edge of your brush to give you a nice definite highlight line all the way around without worrying too much. Just being a little bit more careful when you apply it in here. Next, then we'll move straight to uh, some Troll Slayer Orange, like that. Now we're just going to do the same as before, but all the time reducing the amount of reducing the area that it's actually covering Great. 
Try not to cover up the previous highlights. And it doesn't need to be a solid line. You can build in a little bit of texture to the highlight by dabbing it on. Works quite well. Making it stronger along the highest part of this belt here. Not too much of it because you don't want to turn the red orange. And then what we'll do is we'll take some towel light ochre. I like highlighting uh, with towel light ochre. get a nice highlight on the red without it going pink and then very sparingly like that again on the bottom that it's my cat do you want Tilly I'm recording you know that mm. I am you don't care and then we'll take some kids left fresh like that and we'll just dot it on Okay, and uh, I think we're done. Okay, so for the next video, we'll be moving on to Frost Fang. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that, and uh, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Right, so I've created a hashtag for everybody to use over on Instagram. If you want to share your progress with me, you can all see what everybody else is doing. Uh, it's hashtag Ragnar Paint Along. And remember, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll see you guys back here soon.